Good morning. I'd like to begin today by giving you a little update on our Rose Cottage project. It's coming along. Our new tenants will be moving in next Saturday morning. And we've got a full week of work, but it's we're right on track. And I'm very pleased to say that that we've been able to stay pretty much within budget. We've had a couple of things we didn't count on. Uh, we thought we would repair our front windows, but uh, they were beyond repair. So we had to put in all four new front windows, and that was an extra expense of about $1,400 plus some labor. And we didn't, we chose not to clean and restretch the old beat up carpet in the living room, in the dining room, in the hallways. So we put down uh, wood flooring like we did in the kitchen. And that was another thousand dollars over our budget plus quite a little bit of labor involved as well. But you know, funny thing, through the generosity and caring and I think the principle of what we're doing for the good of our community, there's been enough money. And that and the generosity from so many of you who have given a little, a little and sometimes a lot extra. So thank you. And we are still planning on having an open house for our congregation either Thursday or Friday afternoon or early evening. Watch your emails. Wayne will send out an email as to when that will be, and there are some that we know don't have emails, and we will make sure you're called. So, anyway, we're very excited, and uh, it's been a long, a long haul, but uh, it's going very well. You know, as we look around our world today, and we turn on our television or the radio seems like there's a lot of disparity, a lot of angst and frustration, fear, hatred, pretty much ugly stuff. And I've found that I've started consciously looking for beauty. And you know what? Beauty is in everything, everywhere. It's in our outdoors, our landscapes. I find beauty in my favorite works of art that I have hanging in my home and that I see elsewhere. I see beauty in people as I watch them go through everything we're going through and they're still they still are able to resonate joy they still have faith and hope I see beauty in different movements and organizations and, and communities as they transform, as they evolve into something much more beautiful, much more thoughtful, much more caring and compassionate than they were a year ago. I watched a special documentary, if you will, about Puerto Rico. And I don't know when it was filmed, sometime in the last probably six or eight months. And I was so encouraged. Puerto Rico, after their horrible hurricane, has undergone great transformation as well. You know, our, the United States government kind of set up a government for Puerto Rico. 
And it's like most governments, their intent was to ensure the continued success and profit for the U.S. and national corporations. And they loaned Puerto Rico a lot of money to repair their infrastructure so that they could continue in their, oh, how can I say this without being too offensive? But they, they ensured that the big money stayed big and that the corporations continued to profit greatly through their practices of exploitation of the natural resources and the cheap labor in Puerto Rico. But they really didn't do a whole lot to help the people of Puerto Rico in rebuilding their country. Well, the Puerto Ricans have done something that I am just excited and so happy about. They started first in one city, and then they moved to another city, another, a village, smaller towns, communities. And one by one, they are forming groups, and they are creating their own new infrastructure. They're creating their food production and food distribution plans. They're creating their new set of ed schools and education facilities. They're creating their power and water systems. One by one, they are creating the type of country, the type of society, the type of environment that they want. They're not fighting with the government. They're creating something new. They were so demonstrative in the government that did not work. And they called them to task, and the result was the, the president of Puerto Rico had to resign due to corruptness and, and crookedness. But they are creating their new society, and they will be successful. It's going to take a while, but they will be successful because the foundation of their energies and their intentions and their desires and their visions is based on the good of the whole. There's another wonderful story. And it's right here in Katati. There's an old, old, old church there called Church of the Oaks. Well, that's us. And we entered into a partnership with Cots down in Petaluma to transform our old rose cottage that we use for meetings and to store a lot of junk in into something so wonderful for our community to be used for transitional housing for people who have had it really, really tough. And of course, there's a little money involved, but that's not the reason we entered into the, the contract, into the partnership. It was to do something good for our community, the good of the whole, the we consciousness. I took a good friend of mine who has a lot of history here at Church of the Oaks. The other day, I took him on a little tour through the cottage to show him what all we'd done. He said, oh, this is great. This is wonderful. He said, should have done this years ago. We could have really made some money. And I thought to myself, I didn't say anything, but I thought to myself, yes, we could have turned it into a rental property years ago. But that whole activity would have been for the, the purpose of generating revenues. 
And that's not why we're in business, folks. We're in business to elevate consciousness. We're in business to figure out new ways where our efforts and our consciousness and our vision can be for the good of the whole. To coincide with the divine plan of harmony. Harmony in our community, harmony within our hearts and our minds. I'm so pleased that we are finally the time was right when we could finally use a resource that we had for the very right reason. And as I said earlier, we went a little over budget. But you know what? The money was there. And the money will always be there here at Church of the Oaks in our own personal lives if our intention is based on a consciousness of we, on a consciousness of, of how can we be in harmony, what can we create, what can we do that enables us to be more in harmony with the plan of the divine, how everything in this world was designed to be in a magnificent, complex harmony. I found something this week that I'm going to pass on to you. It's called INN.org. And what that is, that's an independent news network. And I encourage every one of you to check it out. I -N -N .org. They have 250 nonprofit news feeds there. And if you scroll down through it, I looked at, I don't know, a half a dozen. There's one called Bay Cities. And it's about our area right here. And if you go to their website and start going through it, there are literally hundreds of videos that is news that promotes democracy, that promotes positive change, all the good things, all the beauty in our area. Not the ugly. They don't propagate hatred and fear and divisiveness and, and politics. They're non-profits sharing information so that all of us might be more informed without the spin doctors making it for this party or that party or for this corporation or for that co corporation. There's no advertisements. They're all non-profits. They aren't corporate driven. I was so, I don't know, encouraged, I guess is a good word, that there are so many nonprofit news agencies, news feeds available to all of us. I can't wait until I'm done with the Rose Cottage and I have time to really check this, this whole website out. There are Right now, I think 254 members, different news organizations that share truthful, unbiased information. My friends, I hope that all of us can shift what we focus on in our day-to-day -day lives that we could shift from being consumed by the coronavirus, by the political circus that's going on, and, and look for the beauty, the beauty in humanity, the beauty in all of nature, and see the, the power
power of goodness, the power of hope and determination that human beings all over the world have as we all join hands and stick together and work to make this world a better place for each one of us and our children and our grandchildren and our great-grandchildren. Like the folks in Puerto Rico. It's going to take a long time, my friends. But everything worth having and worth changing takes a lot of work. It takes commitment. It takes effort. And it takes a lot of people. And they found out how to do that in Puerto Rico. Maybe we could all take a lesson from them. Transcend the drama and the divisiveness of what we're bombarded with on a daily basis. Look for the beauty, because my friends, there is beauty in every facet of our life experience. sure of it. And so it is.